What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land and I'm here with an Achievement Walkthrough for Outbreak Epidemic. This game releases onto the Xbox One February 12th, 2020 for a price of $9.99. It's actually on the store now up for pre-order and it's on sale for a dollar off. This game is a pretty easy completion. You can complete it in under an hour. It just depends on skill. So I'm going to run you through this game and we're going to get all the achievements. Alright, so this game has 10 achievements. There's an achievement for dying, which you'll probably do pretty easily in Onslaught mode. You have to finish one scenario in Onslaught mode. Then clear campaign scenario, and you have to do it on Easy, Normal, Biohazard, and Nightmare. Now we can actually just play the first level, which is like a tutorial. And then we can do it on Nightmare, and we'll get the achievements for all four difficulties. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Defeat your first zombie, you get an achievement. Defeat a reptile, an enforcer and a brute. All these guys are in the onslaught mode, which we're going to do after we do the campaign. So for the campaign achievements, all we got to do is just play the first level, the tutorial, the first scenario, and just put it on nightmare right from the beginning. And we'll get those four achievements. So I'm going to show you how to set that up and the best way to do this. So you can pick your character. Each character can uh, pick different classes. So we're going to pick Tom and we're going to pick adventurer. He can uh, take more damage, and he can find items easier. Now here's where you can pick your mode, campaign, onslaught, experimental. We're going to go to campaign, and we're going to do tutorial scenario 1. And we're going to put the difficulty on nightmare. And then we're going to leave it on realism mode. There's arcade mode and realism. Realism is better. You can kill the guys faster by shooting them in the head. In arcade mode, they take a lot of bullets. Alright, here we go. There's a lot of weapons on the ground, so you're going to pick up some stuff. Pick up the shotgun, the shells, the handgun, submachine gun. Don't bother picking up any melee weapons. We're not going to use them. You press Y to open up your inventory, and then you can press uh, Y on a gun to equip it. There's uh, multiple handguns here. What I did was... Uh, Try to use them until they're out of bullets and then discard them so they don't take up space. This is a pretty easy mission and we're going to save time because I'm going to give you the passcode to the safe so you don't have to go to the end and get the passcode and come back. Right up here is going to be your first zombie. Just aim for his head and shoot him with the handgun. And you'll get your achievement. There's a grenade launcher on the ground. Grab that. Also grab the Magnum. The Magnum is such a beast gun, especially in Onslaught. Keep your eye out for items. You can hug the fences and look in cars and stuff. Um, there's little magnifying glasses that are a different color depending on what item they are, whether it's health, ammo, or a weapon. You can hit um, R bumper to discard a weapon, but you have to have it unequipped to uh, discard it. You can run in this game with X, so if they come at you, you can run away. Um, you can even run backwards. Just don't hold your gun out while doing it, but you can hold down an X and run backwards. I have one bullet left, but I'm just going to discard it anyway. I just like to have room in my inventory. And now I just have one handgun, and you can reload if you aim with L trigger and then hit X. We're getting close to the safe. It's over in this area here. This game uh, runs a lot better on uh, Xbox One X. And uh, there actually was an update for this game after I played this, after I recorded it. So I tried it out after and it seems that uh, it even runs better now. So just progress through, look for items, kill the zombies, just be careful of them. They can uh, do a lot of damage since it's nightmare difficulty. Over here is the safe. The passcode is the same every single time. So all you have to do is enter in 1077. You get the passcode in a note that's all the way at the edge of the level. So saves you from traveling all the way there. But yeah, we got the car key in it. 
There's some ammo and stuff around you can get. You don't have to read any of these uh, books or anything. Um, the car that we need to open is uh, right next to the helicopter towards the end. So just keep progressing along and uh, make sure you kill all the zombies. Some more ammo. Be careful going around this building up here. There's a zombie up ahead that's going to come out once you get close. There they are. Take them out. We don't need that. There's some health here. Painkillers are what give you health. Shotgun shells. Another guy up ahead. There's uh, some ammo around. There's uh, some guns over here. And of course the guns come with uh, bullets in them. That's why it's good to pick them up. But you don't have to worry too much in this mode. We don't need this lockpick. You can drop that. I like using the shotgun. Put some ammo in it. SMG is really good too. You don't really need to worry that much here. There's only a couple guys we can kill. We can actually even run past them. But just to get you ready for onslaught mode, you want to be able to know what to do. You want to keep being on top of your weapons and checking your inventory and keeping a lot of good stuff on you. And, uh, you know, discarding things that you won't need. There's a bunch of duplicate guns. You just want to use, like, the ammo in, in the gun until it's empty. And then you can discard it and just keep one gun. You don't really need two guns of any kind. <laughs> we got to open this car with the key. You actually got to open up your inventory to use it. And then we get the wire coil in it. And we're going to use the wire coil on this helicopter. Once you do... A bunch of guys are going to start heading at you, so be prepared. And there's one guy already. Now a bunch of guys are going to start heading over. The grenade launcher is pretty good. Try to take some out with this. Be careful here because they can kill you pretty easily. Try to shoot them and run past them. You have your painkillers to take if you get hit at all, so if you're going to die, just take them quickly. And you don't even actually have to kill these guys. So if you run out of ammo, or if they get a little too hectic, don't even worry, just run. Once you get over here, the mission ends. And you'll get your four achievements for beating it on easy, normal, biohazard, and nightmare. So yeah, these achievements are really not that hard to do. Um, those zombies can kill you pretty quickly though, so you gotta be careful. But the fact that you can just run past them makes this so easy. <laughs> there we go. Got our achievements. Now the next thing we need to do is uh, onslaught mode. And that's gonna take a little bit more skill. Now we're gonna set up this one pretty much the same. You're gonna pick Tom, you're gonna pick Adventurer. He could take more damage, so that's why I like to use him. But now we're going to put it on Onslaught mode. You're going to leave it on the first scenario. And we're going to put it on Easy. You can play this on Easy mode. You don't have to put it on any harder difficulty. You're probably not going to be able to beat this on your first try. Or maybe you can. Who knows? If you're really good. But it's not that bad if you die. Because first of all, we get the achievement for dying. Second of all, you get to learn the map a little bit. And see where the items are. Figure it out a little bit. And third, your guy's stats actually get better the more you play. So if you die, you know, it's not the end of the world. So you want to go around and get some items. This you don't need unless you're bleeding. Um, you only need the painkillers for health. Um, but yeah, you want to get some good weapons on you. You want to save um, the shotgun and all the bigger weapons for the bigger guys. For the regular zombies, just use the handgun. There's a lot of stuff here in the tent and even behind it. 
and behind the ambulance in the back. Make sure you hug the fences and look all around for items. You're going to end up running out of ammo if you don't find enough stuff. It's a little choppy because I had to play on my S. I wasn't able to play on my X, but yeah, it runs a lot better on the X. And there even was an update after I played this to even uh, make it uh, run even better. So what you're seeing now is not the latest updated version, and it's also on an S instead of an X. But yeah, to finish this onslaught mode, we have to kill a certain amount of enemies. You have to last a certain amount of waves of enemies. And uh, it actually tells you how many enemies you have to kill. If you hit select, it will tell you. And we have to kill 65 enemies, and I killed 7 already. So you just have to last until you can kill all 65 enemies. It does get a little tough towards the end because the bigger enemies, the reptile, the brute, and the enforcer start showing up like crazy. And they're a little harder to kill. But make sure you just aim for the head though because uh, in realism mode, they take a lot more damage when you shoot them in the head. There's a grenade launcher and there's a bunch of grenaded rounds a lot. So try to stock up on that and save it towards the end. You can start shooting all the big guys with grenade launchers. I'm going to show you what the big guys look like. It won't take that long before they start coming anyway. This is the Enforcer. He kind of lunges at you, so be careful. And of course you get an achievement after killing your first one. Next up is a Reptile. Which one is running at me right now. They're pretty easy to kill. They just uh, come at you pretty fast. And then we have the Brute, which is the tall guy. Shoot him in his head and watch him drop. So those are the three enemies that you got to kill. You get an achievement for each. Then you just got to hold out, try to survive, kill all the 65 guys. Go around, collect health and ammo, stay stocked up. Try not to waste a machine gun on little zombies. Just use the handgun on them. So besides surviving the onslaught mode, the other achievement we need is for dying, which will probably happen anyway. It is kind of easy to die in onslaught mode. But if you're having trouble in onslaught mode, the other thing you could try is you can try a different character. My buddy Carnage said to use this uh, character Karen. She's a medic. You can pick the class medic with her. And with her you can pick up um, more health kits. You can pick up ointment and like uh, combine it with uh, painkillers and uh, makes it stronger. And it also heals your bleeding. But the other tip I would give you is to uh, find some good spots you can hide like back here behind the benches. They sometimes get stuck on the bench or at least slows them down sometimes. But you can even run around a little bit. There's room to run around. You can always just run away from them and then shoot them from far away. Just try to aim for the head. But overall it wasn't too bad. I only had a problem at first because I didn't know when it was going to end. But once I realized uh, what the goal was, I figured out I had to kill 65 guys. I finished it no problem. But yeah, overall, it was a pretty easy completion, and actually it was kind of a fun game. I kind of enjoyed going through this game and completing it. But it's going to be out February 12th if you want to pick it up. You can even pre-order it now for a dollar off. But that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time here at Achievement Land. Oh.